Our first stop in Normandy was the city of Rouen. The Normans were a mix of Gauls and Vikings who besieged Paris in the year 911 to get the Normans off their back. The French gave the Normans the region we now call Normandy, as long as the Normans had helped fight off other pirates. It was the start of a long tradition of French appeasement. About 150 years after besieging Paris, the Normans invaded England, joining Normandy and England. Off and on, Normandy was considered part of England for the next 500 years or so. Normandy looks English. In fact, it looks more English than many parts of England. It's one of the more consistently beautiful places I've been. Rouen is the historical capital of Normandy and the capital of the Upper Normandy area. The town is believed to have been founded by the Romans. The Normans captured it before the French gave it to them. The tourism office is located in a Renaissance guild hall, shown here, that survived the bombing during World War II. Rouen surrendered to Henry V of England during the Hundred Years' War, when Normandy became part of England again. Joan of Arc was imprisoned in Rouen and tried for heresy and burnt at the stake. Rouen was badly damaged during World War II, but many half-timbered houses remain. The cathedral was rebuilt, and this town has a really cool clock above one of the streets, but the clock's being renovated, so it was covered by a shroud. Here's a shot that shows the cathedral's restoration. Note how the unrestored part of the tower at the top contrasts with the restored portions below. Rouen surrendered to Henry V of England during the Hundred Year War, when Normandy became part of England again. Joan of Arc was imprisoned in Rouen, tried for heresy, and burned at the stake. The trial of Joan of Arc was rigged. Joan was not allowed counsel and was forced to defend herself. Still, she was pretty good at it. She was asked if she knew if she was in God's grace. Now this was a trick question. Since no one could be sure of being in God's grace, she would have committed heresy by answering yes. On the other hand, she would condemn herself by answering no. She said, If I am not, may God put me there, and if I am, may God so keep me. This caused the Inquisitor to shut down for the day. The way they eventually got her was a technicality based on a biblical clothing law about women wearing men's clothing. While in prison, she went back to wearing women's clothing, but started wearing men's clothing when either one, an English lord tried to rape her, or two, someone stole her clothes and men's clothing was all that was available. While she was burnt at the stake, she called out the Lord's name and prayed loudly. The English were so paranoid about her that they raked back the coals after the fire went out so that everyone could see her charred body. Next, they reburnt the remains twice more to turn it to ash and then dumped the ashes in the Seine to prevent anyone from claiming any relics. Wren today has a horribly ugly church at the center of the square that's dedicated to Joan. It's in the shape of a 15th century helm. I didn't take any pictures of it. This shows the merge of the old and the new that occurs in Wren, resulting from new construction around ancient structures to replace World War II damage.